Assalamu alaikum. Uh, in this question, he is saying determine the she shear strain gamma xy at corners A and B if the plastic distorts as shown by dashed line. So there is plastic deformation happened for this shape. Uh, at the beginning, before the deformation, it was uh, a rectangular shape. Okay, you have uh, the corner C, D, A, and B. This one is 400 millimeter, and this side is 300 millimeter. Okay, now uh, there is distortion happen, and it becomes with uh, this shape that has the dashed lines. Okay, we need to determine the shear strain uh, at corner AB, and also we will add C and D. Okay, uh, so as you can see, after the distortion, it becomes something like this. So here is C prime, for example, the point C after the, the distortion. Then here we have P prime, and then we will have A prime, and point D. Uh, the didn't change the the place of point D didn't change so we don't have D prime D prime is the same like D okay so as you can see we have uh, a deformation or a change of the place of the corners in X and Y so as you can see here I, we have a distance between A and A prime in the Y direction the Y axis and also I have a distance in the X axis okay and also for D I have a difference in the y-axis and also I have different distance in the x-axis the same for C also and only D uh, didn't change okay so that means that I have a shear strain or an angle in the x and y yani I have angle that moves line DA from this point to to become uh, this line this dash line and also I have another angle in that thing yani for example if I draw in the original figure this angle okay let's call it theta moves the line DA to become this dash, dashed line and also here if I draw parallel line to VA from A prime this point is A prime I also I have another angle okay let's call it gamma so the steps to solve this question is to come on the point or the dashed point or the point after the, the displacement or after the dist uh, distortion and to draw horizontal line and vertical line here so from point a prime i will draw horizontal line yani line parallel to ad and also i will do draw vertical line vertical line parallel to line ab now I have this angle is theta which is also equal to the theta, theta that we drew at the beginning and you have uh, the Z shape or the Z letter okay, so this one is A prime and I have this uh, is the dashed line okay and this line is DA so I need to calculate from A prime theta which is also equal to this uh, this theta okay so in order to calculate theta usually theta is tan inverse okay tan inverse of this theta is uh, the opposite over the adjacent the opposite is 2 millimeter okay we have this triangle this one is 2 millimeter okay and I have this the whole distance is 400 plus 5 millimeter so I have 400 over 5 uh, 405 millimeter okay the answer will be 4.938 times 10 to 1 negative 3 radian okay now that that is after I draw a horizontal line from a prime the second step is to draw a vertical line parallel to the x-axis okay from from a prime also okay so I have this line the vertical line will create a new rectangle okay and this and we will call this angle gamma okay so that means that the line AB it was like this now it become like this 
that is p prime and I will assume that I will start from a prime okay so this angle is the same like this angle also because that is also a uh, any z letter okay so that is the point a prime I have this distance this small distance is a subtraction of 12 minus 5 okay so it is this distance is 12 minus 5 because this one is 12 and uh, this one is 5 so the subtraction is will give you uh, 7 okay so I have the this angle so the opposite of, of this angle is equal to 7 and the total distance this total distance is what is 300 plus 8 300 is the side of the rectangle plus 8 okay so this one is 300 this distance plus 8 this one so it, I have 308 so this angle is gamma is equal to 10 inverse 10 inverse 308 and this one is 7 you will have 0 0.02287 ready it's the same angle like this one so this one also is gamma okay so if you want to, to draw or to follow the, the same steps for um, for uh, corner B you will do the same you will have P prime draw a horizontal line from P prime and draw a vertical line from P prime then you will have angles that will be created with the dashed lines okay so you need to calculate this angle let's call it beta and this one you will uh, you will figure out that it is also gamma okay so here that this point is P prime okay I will do a draw a horizontal line and I will draw a vertical line we already calculated this angle when I we want to calculate the, the strain uh, shear strain for a, uh, a and we call it gamma and it is the same like this one it's also gamma because I have Z letter okay for this one I need to calculate this angle okay we call it beta this angle is until you know, the, you'll stop drawing the uh, triangle until you reach uh, you know, this this line okay until you reach C prime okay so what you will have is that is P prime that is C prime so this angle beta will equal to this distance is 8 minus 3 I want to calculate this small distance so it is 8 minus 3 okay so I have here 5 the whole distance is 412 400 the, the width of the rectangle plus 1200 but I stopped at here at C, C prime so I need to subtract 4, four millimeters so it is 412 minus uh, 4 so I have 408 okay so beta will equal to 10 inverse the opposite is what the opposite is uh, 8 minus uh, 3 so it is 5 okay and this one 412 minus 4 this distance I will have 408 so beta will equal to 0 0.01225 radian I put the, uh, yani the calculator to be in radian so I get the answer in radian now I calculate, calculated the angles for B, uh, for B prime because I already know that gamma is the same and yani it is uh, uh, shared between the distortion in A and the distortion in B so I have gamma plus beta will create the shear strain for uh, point B for corner B and for A I have theta plus also gamma so f so he is asking to calculate the shear strain in the XY plane for A I will have for A theta plus gamma this one will move line uh, DA in the Y axis and this one will move line AB to be like this in the X axis yeah, in the direction of the X axis so theta plus gamma is what theta is uh, 4.938 times 10 to the power negative 3 plus gamma 0 0.0 
2.87 and you can calculate by the calculator now for what about C and D we said that we need to, uh, to draw horizontal and, uh, horizontal and vertical line from the point after the distortion but here D didn't change okay so خلاص, directly you assume D prime is, is the same like D and that is the horizontal line that is the vertical line it is the original uh, uh, size of the rectangle okay so that is the angle it is theta already we calculated theta uh, but we didn't calculate this angle let's call it alpha okay so in order to calculate alpha it is so clear that alpha is uh, tan inverse alpha tan inverse the opposite is four millimeter and the adjacent is 300 plus three okay so 300 three this will give you uh, the value for alpha is 0.0132 radian now let's see for c for point c okay for point c we said we will come uh, to c prime okay that is c prime and i will draw a horizontal line and vertical line as you can see this angle is also alpha because we calculated this one to be alpha so i have also z shape so this alpha so this one is also alpha okay and that is c prime we, we draw a horizontal line okay so after we draw horizontal line this angle is the same like beta that we already calculated for uh, corner b so also this one is beta okay this one is beta so this one also is beta so yani we have only four angles theta gamma alpha and beta so for the strain rate oh, we didn't calculate for b b uh, the strain rate in xy for b is gamma also it is shared between a and b plus beta and for the strain rate of uh, point c i have alpha plus beta and for the strain rate uh, for D, I have theta plus alpha. Okay, so yani, that is the usual steps uh, for uh, this question.